Hello guys and welcome again to this edition of Learning with Rich. In this topic, let's continue our discussion about the documentation in the Revit MEP Certified Professional Examination Preparation. So we are still on the, the, on the documentation topic. This time around, we are going to talk about uh, creating sheets in Revit MEP. Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to describe how to create and modify sheets. Okay, and then how to specify print options for them. Okay, so that is what we are uh, that is what we are going to do. So sheets are the basis for the construction document sets. So basically, a sheet enables you to place different views side by side on a page with title block information about your, let's say, organization and the project. So you can print sheets to paper or, let's say, electronic files to deliver document sets to clients, collaborators, or government organization. Okay? So, sheets are project views like here. So in this exercise or in this file we already have three sheets here created okay so sheets are project views on which you place building model views such as like plan view elevation section 3d views schedules and legends so the views placed on a sheet are instance of the views in the project browser so therefore when you modify a view on a sheet the changes are automatically applied to the original view in the project browser. Okay, so let's do some quick exercise on uh, how to work with sheets in Revit MEP. Again, this process that we will be doing, uh, you can also apply this in other disciplines such as architecture or structural. Okay, so in this exercise, we are going to create a sheet and we are going to modify its view properties. And then after that, we are going to place a plan view and a section view on a sheet. And let's try to specify print options for selected sheet and views. Okay, so let's get started. So what we're going to do first, we're going to create a sheet. Okay, so how to create a sheet. So as you can see, like what I've said, you already have here three sheets. So to create sheets, Okay, so you just need to right-click the sheets here, and then you can select their new sheet. Okay, so another way is you can also go to the View tab. You go to the View tab, and then from the Sheet Composition, you will see there the sheet. Okay, so it's the same. Okay, you can either right-click the sheets here and then select New Sheet, or you can click the sheet here. So you just need to click that. Okay, and then you will now see here the title block that is loaded in this project, which is uh, A0 metric. So if you have your own title block created in Revit, so you can select load here so that you'll be able to uh, use that title block for your, uh, for your project. Anyway, for this one, I'm just going to select the default. Okay, new one, A0 metric, and then I'll just select here, okay. And then as you can see, this is now the title block that I just created. So it's now added to the project browser. And as you notice, it becomes the active view. Okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is from our project browser here. Okay. So we are going to duplicate our, let's say, level 2 HVAC plan. So I'm going to duplicate this. So you just need to right click that and then there's the duplicate option here. Okay, so you have three options to duplicate. So it's either you use duplicate, duplicate with detailing or duplicate as a dependent. Okay, but for this one, I'm just going to select duplicate with detailing so that the dimensions, any annotations that is added on that level 2 HBAC plan will also uh, will be also copied. So once I select duplicate with detailing, so I select this one All right, so this is now my Duplicate one. So I'm just going to rename this. 
So I'm going to right click and then after that I'm going to change the name. Alright, so I'm just going to change the name. So let's say I'm going to call this North uh, Level 2 HVAC Plan. Okay, and then I'm going to press Enter. There you go. So for this exercise, so what I'm going to do is I want to show the northern part of this view on my ship. Okay? So that's why I named it North Level 2 HVAC Plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the ship that I created. And then after that, I'm now going to insert here the sheet. Oh, I mean the view North Level 2 HVAC Plan. Okay? So you have two options for you to be able to insert the view on your sheet. The first one is you can just drag this, drag and drop, something like this. Okay, so you can drag and drop the view and then you just pick. Alright, so just like that. So you just drag and drop. So another way, I'm just going to undo it one time. Another way to insert the view inside your sheet is you can go to the view tab. And then from the sheet composition, so there is a view there. So place view. So it's the same. You can click place view. And then from here, you just need to select the view that you want to be inserted on your sheet here. So for this one, I'm going to select this north level 2 HVAC plan. And then I'll just select add view to sheet. Okay, and then I'm just going to pick. Alright, so you just need to specify the location of your uh, view on the title block okay now the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to change the scale of this so I want to scale, uh, change the scale of the plan view that I inserted on my sheet so to do that I can select this and then after that I can change the scale here view scale so let's say I want to change to 1 is to 50 so I can select 1 is to 50 and then apply here and there you go so it's now 1 is to 50 now another way another way is I'm going to undo I'm going to show you again another option so another way is you need to activate the viewport okay you need to activate the viewport by selecting the viewport and then you can select their activate view all right so another way to activate is you click the viewport and then right click then you can select their activate view so you have two options there okay so you activate the viewport and then you can now change the scale okay take note that if you change the scale here so let's say one is to 50 Okay, the original view, which is this one, it will also update. Okay, it will become 1 is to 50 also. Okay. Right, so after we change that to uh, 1 is to 50, the next thing that I want to do is, since I want to show the north level portion of this view, I want to show this portion. So what I'm going to do is, while the viewport is still active, I'm going to activate the crop region. So this is the crop region. So I'm going to click that. And then I'm going to adjust. So let's say I want to show only that part. So I'm going to crop it. Okay. Right. And then after that, from the properties here, I'm going to check annotation. So I do not want to show any annotation that is uh, outside of the viewport so I'm going to check this one and then to crop the view so this time I'm going to select here crop view so crop view or I can again select from the properties this one crop view so it's the same just click that and then apply and there you go so there's now my my viewport or I mean the crop floor plan now, the next thing that I'm going to do here is I want to hide this crop region. So, to hide the crop region, I'm just going to select this one, hide crop region. There you go. So, it's now hidden. 
Now, since I want this view to be placed here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate the view. So to deactivate the view, all you have to do is to right click and then you can select their deactivate view. There you go. So after that, I'm now going to click the viewport and then I'm going to drag it. Something like that. Now on the examination, there is this one question there wherein it will ask you to move only the view title here or the viewport. Okay, so if that's the case, you do not select the viewport and then move it. Okay, you do not do that. You do not do that. So if you want to move only the title here, you just need to select that individually. Just click that and then you can now move that. Okay, because in, in the examination, there is a one question there that will ask you to move only the view title. So for you to be able to move the view title uh, alone, so you just need to select the view title and then you just drag. Or you can select and then you can use the move tool. Move and then you can pick whatever you want to place it. Okay, and then you just pick again outside. Now, another question during the examination is... If you want to resize your view title, this one, okay, what you need to do is you need to select the viewport itself and then you will see the blue node here. So that's the, the one that you can use to resize the viewport. I mean the view title. Okay, remember, if you want to move the view title, you can click that and then you can move it separately. You can drag. Now, if you want to resize the line here, just click the viewport and then this one you can drag now to resize it all right so it's not that uh, difficult right now the next thing that we are going to do is um, I'm going to create a new sheet here so I'm going to right click this one and then I'm going to select a uh, new sheet all right again I'll be using a0 metric okay so this time around I'm going to uh, place section views on a sheet okay so I'm going to place a section view on a sheet so to do that all right so I just need to look for the section here so let's say I want to insert the let me just rename this first so right click rename let me call this uh, let's say section and details right oh sorry sorry i'm not going to change that rename here so section and details there there you go by the way let me just rename this also right click so this is my north level 2 hvac plan all right there you go so going back here so i'm now going to insert here the the view i'm going to drag section four drag and drop then let's say i'm going to place it here there you go so there's my section now and then i'm going to drag also call out of section four and before that if i open the section four you will notice that there is no detail here, right? There's no sheet number or detail number here on this callout. Well, the reason why there's no detail on my callout here, it's because this callout is not yet inserted inside the sheet. Okay, this callout here, this one. So if I'm going to insert this inside the title block here, so what will happen is it will populate the detail to this one okay All right okay so let me show you so i'm going to open the section and details and then um you see the section four there doesn't have a detail but once i insert the call out of section four let's say i'm going to place it here beside All right so let me just place it like this there you go let me just align this here so you see it's now populated, OK? 
Okay, if I go to the section 4, you will notice it's also updated. So what does it mean? So it means that the call out, this one, the call out can be seen on sheet M102, which is this one, and then the detail number is 2. So you need to go to M102, and then you look for detail number 2, which is this one. So this is the call out. Okay, so hopefully you got that one. All right. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, uh, what else? So let's try to specify the print options for the selected sheets. So let's say I want to uh, print these two views here, the M101 and M102 to PDF. So what I can do is I can go to File, and then I can select their Publish. Okay, so you can select here. Uh, different options if you want to save to DWF, DWG, but since what I want is uh, PDF, so I'm gonna go ahead and select print here and then I select print. Okay, and then I can select this one. Let me change that to PDF, Microsoft print PDF, and um, selected views and sheet. Okay. Angel, paisa good. Alright. So, so I select here, select. What more? Select, and then I'm going to select now M101 and M102. Okay, and then after that, I'll just select here, okay. And then, do you want to save these settings for use in future Revit sessions? I just need to select no. So I'll just select here. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me just save it on the... How about on my... Yeah, I'll just save it on my documents here. So this is my PDF. PDF sheet exercise so, or whatever name that you want. So I just need to save from there. Okay, so this is sheet number two. Okay, then after that, let me now try to open it. So this is the, the sheet number one. This one. Okay, and then the other one is uh, sheet number two. Sheet number two, which is this one. Okay. So basically, that's how you uh, use the sheet. That's how you create your sheets in Revit MEP. So in the examination, in the examination, it's not that difficult. The question there is not difficult. Okay. So again, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.